In December of 2019, just three months into my YouTube history, I decided to purchase a 2006 Bentley Continental Fine Spur that had been vandalized from the local salvage auction. Now when I first bought this thing, I wasn't quite sure what was wrong with it, but I was pretty sure that I could fix it. And that's pretty much what I did over the course of about five or six months. Now I had made several videos on this car and they pretty much went unnoticed until about June of 2020. So at that point in time, I pretty much had all the bugs worked out and I really just needed to concentrate on some of the cosmetic issues, which leads us up to this point. I had repaired that front bumper cover and repainted it. And the only thing I really had left was the scratches on the hood down the side of the car from where somebody had keyed it. Painting this car could cost several thousand dollars. I didn't have time to spray it myself. So I decided I'm going to tackle these key scratches by touching them up. So the time's finally arrived. We're going to start working on these scratches on the door on the hood, quarter panel, and the rear deck lid. So this is not gonna be 100% perfect, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. The only way to really get it 100% is to repaint the entire car. I just don't wanna do that. I can do it, but I just don't wanna do it. It's just not in my budget. So the method that I'm gonna to use to repair these scratches, I've seen it done before. Me personally, I've never done it, but I think I can get it to work out. So this is the paint that I'll be using to touch up these scratches. Now this is single stage urethane paint and this is the same paint that you spray out of a gun. It takes a hardener and basically what it is, it's a clear coat with the base coat color already mixed in. It's a one step process. So the reason I decided to go with this, this is actually cheaper than the Bentley touch up paint and I believe this actually would hold up better because this is urethane and I believe what you get into touch up paints, they're uh, acrylic enamel usually and they don't really look that good. They really don't match up too well. Now here's one of the scratches on the hood and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna dab paint down in this little crack and just build it up all along this whole scratch. Now once I get it built up to a certain level, I'm gonna tape it off on both sides and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna wet sand it and sand it down smooth. And if I need to, I'll go back over and touch it up again and repeat the process of sanding it back down. So once I get it leveled out to where I like it, I'm gonna come back and hit it with 1500 and 2000 grit sandpaper, maybe some 3000 grit Trizac. And after that, we'll just come across with a buffer. We'll machine polish it, we'll buff it, and then we'll do a final glaze on it. And this scratch will uh, hopefully not be able to be seen very well. So here's the area on the quarter panel that I've already worked on. Can you tell exactly where the scratch is? If you look real carefully there, you can see the raised up area from where I've already touched it up. Now this is just one coat. This is just one pass over. And as you can see, it is raised up and you can still see the scratch. But as far as color, there's actually white there. And back from, I don't know, maybe five or six feet, it kind of disappears. You really can't see where the actual scratch was but you can see the raised paint. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back over this one more time, maybe a third time, and then I'm gonna tape this off, sand it down, and then we'll buff it out for the final product.
So we've got all the scratches touched up. And as you can see, it blends into the car very well once we have the color on there. Now the only thing that you can really faintly see maybe is you can see the outline of the raised paint. But you can't actually see the scratch itself anymore. It looks pretty good from uh, 6 feet just the way it is. Now this is 10 or 12 feet away. And you can barely even tell maybe where the scratches actually were. You can just barely see the touch up paint. Now back here on the deck lid, you can see that scratch a little bit better because of the way the angle of the sun. But what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to let this thing dry. I'm going to let all this paint dry for about 24 hours. And then I'll come back and I'll touch up any areas that I might need. And then we can proceed on to the next step where we're going to tape it up and sand it down. So it's been about 24 hours since we touched these scratches up. Now I'm going to go over this thing and I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm going to fix these scratched areas up. So I got this masking tape and what I'm going to do here is you can see our scratch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay masking tape as close as I can to the top and the bottom of the scratch. And what that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to come in and wet sand this raised area back down flat with the rest of the paint. Now, I'm going to do this with uh, 800 grit, then 1200, then 1500, 2000, and then final 3000. And after that step, I'll come back and buff it all out, and it'll look pretty slick. Now, it's not going to completely 100% go away, but it'll be pretty close. So if you look right here on the quarter panel, we had them scratches, and I'm going to show you where I've done some of the work. Now, here's the area that I touched up where it's still raised and right up here along this edge is where I've worked it down. Now I've sanded this down and buffed it using the processes that I just told you about and it's probably hard to see on camera but from about two foot it looks pretty good. If you look really really close you can see a fine fine hairline scratch and then you can see where I stopped doing the work but this actually looks really really good now once I get done with this you're probably not even going to notice this unless I point it out to you or unless you get your face maybe one or two feet from the car back from three feet or more you can't even see it so that's what I'm gonna do here is finish the rest of the work here and then on the deck lid down the side and the hood so we got our 800 grit on the sanding block. So we're going to wet our surface down, we're going to wet our block down, we're going to start sanding. Once you kind of get the edge knocked down a little bit, you can take off your tape and we can go on and sand this thing with the block. So now that we've got this thing cut down some, we're going to take this paint stick and we're going to wrap our 800 grit sandpaper on there and sand it down this way. Now the main reason you want to use something small like this is so we don't come out away from the scratch we keep the 800 grit scratches right here where the main scratch is and then we'll just kind of blend out as we do the 1500 the 2000 and the 3000 Now the secret is, just light pressure, you don't want to push down, you don't want to dig into the paint. And just kind of keep going over it until you get it pretty smooth and you don't feel it raised up anymore. You don't want to go too far because you'll burn through the clear and that will be disastrous. Here 
here's what you have after sanding it with 800 grit sandpaper. Now if you look, you can see a very fine hairline crack looking thing there. And that's where our scratch is. Now it is filled in. Uh, I'm going to go over it with, like I said, 1200, 1500, 2000 grit sandpaper. And it'll gloss it back up after I buff it out. But this totally will not disappear. You'll still have that very fine hairline crack looking thing there. And it's just part of it. You're feeling in that scratch and there's just that hard edge from where they knifed it and it's just not gonna go away. But it'll look pretty good as you can see up there at the top. So it almost disappears from two foot. And if I didn't tell you the scratch was there, you probably wouldn't even know it was there. So now we're gonna proceed with the uh, higher grit sandpaper, the 1200, the 1500, the 2000, and then a little bit of a 3000, and then we'll buff this thing out. So now that we've wet sanded it, it's time to buff it. This is all the stuff we're gonna be using. We got a drill, we got an attachment, we've got a wool buffing pad, we have a polishing pad, and we have a finishing pad. We have 3M rubbing compound. The next step is 3M machine polish. And the third and final step is ultra fine glaze 3000. So this three step process will help bring the gloss back to the area where I sanded and it should look nice and shiny when I'm done. So here's our finished product. Here's where the scratch was at. It actually runs right here where my finger's going. Very, very hard to see from two feet away. Probably won't even pick up on camera. But if you look at it, it's nice, nice and slick and smooth. It looks a thousand times better than what it did before. So now that we've got this one little section right here on the quarter panel done, we need to concentrate on the deck lid or the boot, whatever you want to call it, the doors, and the hood or the bonnet whatever you want to call it and this is very time consuming work it might look easy on camera but it's really not it just kind of takes time you just kind of got to kind of stay with it and i wanted to touch up this scratch a little bit before i decide to go and sand it it needs some more work and i think the doors are fine the boot lid the deck lid whatever you want to call it it's uh fine i think it's ready to sand down so we're going to get on to those areas next
so all that hard work has paid off here it is all the scratched areas are repaired they're finished it looks nice and glossy and I'm really really impressed with how this turned out it turned out better than what I thought it would now like I said it's not 100% perfect but as you can see I mean from six feet those scratches are pretty much gone like you can't even really even see them and if you're looking at the car and you don't know the car you probably won't even notice where the scratches were unless somebody points them out but I mean this thing is it's nice and glossy just look down the side I mean you can just barely see where the scratch was right there and this is at maybe two feet but say back here from about maybe 10 feet you can't even tell anything really even ever happened same thing up on the hood I mean you just you just can't really see it blends in nice and well and like I said I'm really happy with the way this turned out you can do this process pretty much on any type of vehicle it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a Bentley this just so happens to be on a Bentley so I think if the color was a little bit darker the scratched areas would probably blend in a little bit better but with this being white and uh, the scratches were kind of dark they do kind of stand out just a little bit but if it was a darker color I think they would disappear even better than what they do on this car so really the only thing to do now that I've repaired them scratches is pretty much just drive this thing and enjoy it so I do have some how-to videos that I'm gonna do on this Bentley so stay tuned for that also check out my new merch store below where you can get great things like this t-shirt that I'm wearing I got a lot of new things coming to that and as always thanks for watching if you're not subscribed click the subscribe button click the bell so you'll get the notifications and as always you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram